A group of five men have been arrested, accused of attacking a group of New York City police officers. Fox 5 New York's Lizette Nunez live in Times Square this morning with the latest on the charges these men now face. Lizette, good morning to you. Good morning to you. And it was a horrific attack and it was all caught on camera. Police ultimately put the surveillance video of that attack out to the public as well as pictures of the suspects, which they believe led to additional arrests. Arrest after this video shows a group of men assaulting officers in Times Square. The incident taking place Saturday around 8.30 in the evening. According to police, officers tried to break up a disorderly group on West 42nd Street. When police tried to take the person dressed in yellow into custody, that's when things took a turn and the group began attacking the officers. Several people repeatedly punched and kicked the officers in the head and body. Police initially arrested four people and then a fifth person on Monday. They face charges including assault on a police officer, gang assault and disorderly conduct. According to the New York Post, those who were arrested and charged are migrants who were then released without bail. A quick search shows that at least one of the individuals who was arrested lives at a homeless shelter in Brooklyn and another at a migrant shelter in College Point, Queens. In a statement, the Police Benevolent Association writing, attacks on police officers are becoming an epidemic. And the reason is the revolving door we're seeing in cases like this one. It is impossible for police officers to deal effectively with crime and disorder if the justice system can't or won't protect us while we do that to work. We have truly got to understand it's going to get worse before it gets better. It's going to get much worse. So these attacks on cops... It's going to continue. It's going to get worse. And again, man, the reason why is because still, there's still a big portion of this country that have their head buried in the sand. They're not willing to, to wake up and understand what is happening to our country. They don't care. They truly don't care. Again, what they, what they care about is how they look. They care about, you know, do I look virtuous? Do I look like a, a good, caring person? I don't look racist, do I? That's what they're concerned with. They're not concerned with doing the right thing. They're, they're actually willing to look away as long as you don't call them some icky name. Sticks and stones may break my bones, but words will never hurt me. I mean, remember that? Remember that? I mean, that was the way things once were at one time. But now, I mean, we have gone off the rails. They've gone totally off the rails. And again, these attacks on cops by, by legal smash are going to continue, and they're not going to deport them. And even if they did deport them, it's not going to make a bit of difference. It's not going to because, again, they'll, come, they'll go right back over that border and come right back in a week later. We have truly got to understand our what they're doing. They, the Biden administration, they decided to do this. This is a plan. It's not, it's not by mistake. It's by design. We, we have got to get that. Because again, there's no laws that have been changed since Trump. Biden just came in and decided not to enforce laws, not to make things difficult. You know, Trump was, you know, closing the borders up, trying to make it more difficult, trying to build a wall. And again, Biden came in, you know, and just opened everything up. Nothing has changed except, again, he decided not to enforce those laws. That's the only change. But, but, I mean, this stuff is going to get worse. It's going to get worse. It's not going to keep... Because, again, these people are not going to face consequences. Not going to face much. And even if they do get deported, like I said, the way back in a week, 10 days, whatever, they're coming right back. And, again, these people, they you know, they when they come across the border, they process them. And guess what? They put them on buses. They put them on planes. They don't know who these people are. 
They have no idea. And again, man, when you go to the airport, you have to show your ID. You have to, you know, get your bag search, go through security, you know, strip down to your underwear, whatever, man. We have got, you know, but, but they they don't do a thing. They don't do a thing. Again, they don't even have ID a lot of them. They have no idea who they are. They have no idea. But again, they're right there in a plane riding right next to you, right next to your mama. Whatever, man. They, they're right there. They don't care. So again, things are going to get worse. You know, people have got to understand that we have seen only the tip of the iceberg. But guys, man, I want to show you real quick what happened when these guys were released from jail, which again, they were, I think it was today, earlier today, they were released. And again, what they did, how arrogant these people are. But guys, watch this. New video is sparking even more outrage over the group of migrants accused of attacking two New York City police officers. That's what you're looking at on the left hand of your screen. Those guys were freed without bail. And now look at this. Here's one suspect flipping the bird to the cameras. He could care less. Another blows kisses as he smiles and laughs. The other suspect next to him also putting up the middle fingers and cursing at those reporters. Remorseless, brazen, smug. And now the question is, will the Biden administration deport these migrants? Man, guys, again, we have got to close that southern border up. We have no choice at this point. We have got to, because again, these guys right here, they don't care. They're attacking cops. They're doing whatever they want. And again, they, they understand fully that they're not going to face consequences for what they do. Again, because they walk out, they get fingers, they, they don't care. Because again, they know they're not going to face any consequences. They know they're scot-free. And again, man, even if they did deport them, they would wind back up in the country a week later with more money and another cell phone. Guys, we have truly got to understand it's broken. And I'm not saying the system is broken. The system's not. It's just a refusal to to enforce the laws. That's what's going on now. You know, Joe Biden, man, he refuses to enforce the laws. Again, things have not changed since under Trump. You know, again, 450,000 people came across the border Trump's last year in office. The very next year, almost 2 million people came across from Biden. So again, man, he refuses to enforce it. And last year, man, what, it was just over 3 million? I mean, we have got to understand what's happening here. Just with him in office, man, just since he's been in office, several million people have come across the border. He is doing nothing, nothing, nothing to keep us safe. I mean, again, they're attacking cops. They're attacking families. They're attacking, they're raping people. They're doing whatever. They don't care. And again, they're not going to face the consequences. I mean, I mean, again, they come into our country illegally. They're processed. We don't know who they are. A lot of them are military age men. We don't know who they are. They give them cell phones, they give them money, they give them, then they're, you know, they're given a choice where to go. And again, man, then they're paid to live somewhere. Why would they go away? And why would they ever think that, you know, that they're going to face consequences from whatever they do wrong? I mean, again, we're not even kicking them out of our country. So again, we, we have truly got to understand that the only thing we can do is again, kick them out. Kick these people out. Like Trump said, mass deportation. That's the only way. But guys, man, if you would, please like, subscribe, and leave a comment down below. 
Thanks. You son of a. You son of a. You son of a.